Hey everyone, Ryan here or MNR Productions with a review of a 2022 LEGO Speed Champions set that I wasn't planning on buying until I watched a video of its designer, Chris Stamp, and how excited he seemed to be about the design. So this is the Lamborghini Countach, uh, mm -hmm. icon obviously, again, brick-built headlights, yeah. brick-built taillights. It's got the, the, the really attractive uh, red interior because a Lamborghini in white needs a red interior. That's so 80s. We're really happy about this. It's, it was the number one requested car. When you go through all the comment sections and everything, people kept asking for it. Yeah. So um, we're really, really happy about that. And so here we are with the 76908 Lamborghini Countach with 262 pieces retailing for $20 in the US. And I also watched a video by Doug about the Lamborghini Countach, which was pretty cool as well. So if you're into the real car stuff, that guy seems to be like the car guy. So check out Doug. His video has definitely helped me know a little bit more about this car for this review. So we have the Speed Champions logo and the checkered flag kind of dissolving into the box art, which has a really nice background, the Lamborghini logo, and then of course the white Countach in the foreground there. On the top of the box, it'll show off the actual size of the wheel, another angle of the car, a lot of components made in different Different countries and then the back of the box has some rendered versions of the car which look a little bit weird to me I just like it better when they use physical pictures of the product versus the renders but this does look really cool with the lighting and everything same with that there looks to be a render and then you can see the actual physical car there with the smallest picture on the back I kind of wish they used a bigger picture of the actual car side of the box has this little metallic thing so you know it's a real Lamborghini product unfortunately it's not a real multi hundred thousand dollar car come on looks like a very simple one two punch with two numbered bags a sticker sheet which doesn't have a crazy amount of stickers i definitely feel like i've seen speed champion sets with more stickers than that but then again i've only ever owned two speed champion sets you can see them back there the lone minifigure in the set is wearing a ferrari jacket which has the ferrari logo on the top right he's got some regular old blue jeans on no print on there slight print on the back of the torso not even necessary but nice to see you can see a little bit of that second face print underneath the hair there and that's a little bit disappointing always kind of sucks when that kind of bleeds through but that's just a byproduct of the world we live in for lego right now and removing that hair you will see that second face is just a bit more of a stern look versus the happy look on this side and then since he can also drive the car along with this wrench obviously to fix it he does have a helmet so you can have the helmet you can flip the visor up if you want to flip the visor up this here is the lamborghini and it's a beautiful model as far as display goes as long as you're not sticking it down on a white shelf like I have it now on a white table, I think it will pop out very nicely for your display. On top of that, it does have a very accurate shape. I mean, that's what you would expect for Speed Champions. I haven't owned a Speed Champion set since they changed from six wide to eight wide, but the eight wide model, at least my first impression, is very good. It was definitely the move for Speed Champions to make. I think they did it a year or two ago when they changed over and they, they made the models wider and it has made them phenomenal so much better than they could have been otherwise we'll start at the very front of the set where we have the headlights we also have the lamborghini logo there on the very front of the hood and that is a sticker a lot of stickers on the set as you would expect with a speed champion set not too many crazy amount though if we flip this up which it's not really supposed to it's just the way they achieve the shape but if you flip this up you can get a better idea of some of the stickers that are under there including some lights which you can kind of see through the clear paneling here which is pretty cool and then i believe these sticker rectangles represent the pop-up headlights so on the real car the headlights would pop up right there and then they would obviously beam forward but because this is a lego car it doesn't have that functionality unfortunately now the wheels they apparently changed recently too where they can actually add on realistic looking rims and these are printed they are not stickers on the side of the wheels which is really cool you can see how it looks as it's uh spinning there they look very nice the bottom of the tire however is flat there is no tread there at all i don't know why that is the wheels don't turn either maybe that's the worst part about it like obviously real cars all the wheels turn on these speed champions they're just a little too small still in the the scale that they're in which is a good scale it's about figure scale but the wheels can't turn so that's a bit of a shame the base of the car is also really just not detailed at all it doesn't need to be i didn't expect it to be i don't even want it to be but 
it's just a fact, it's not detailed. Now back to the top, we have our rear view mirrors, which aren't actually mirrors, they're just Lego plastic, but they are one of the only ways you can see out of the back of the car, behind the car, because I watched the video by Doug about his, I think he was reviewing a 1989 Lamborghini Countach, and it was very similar, same color, same red interior, very sharp, um, and it just has a small slit of a back window. This Lego set does not contain any sort of back window. Man, you just can't see a thing. Which, I doubt any of the Lambo Countach has ever released would have not contained a back window. Something else cool about this car is that I'm inside of it. I should probably take myself out. No, that's my head. What Doug said in his video is that all the glass on the Lamborghini Countach is completely flat. There is no curved glass. And so the designers actually did something to kind of replicate this look. And they took the print that they have on this windshield piece and they just made all of the lines completely straight or as straight as they could and so it looks like it's flat glass or at least as close to flat glass as possible however it's still a curved lego windshield piece as they have been releasing you can see there's just a slight curve to it that's just how it is um, but they tried to make it look flat because it's supposed to be by using straight lines and i think it worked out pretty well you can see some more of that flat glass here on the side something else cool about this car is it does have windows but it's only like a half a window and then that half window only rolls down halfway so the doors on this despite the real doors on the real car they open vertically the doors on the lego set do not open at all you could actually open them a little bit while building it but then you break it into place and it's just not going anywhere at the end of the day you're not opening the doors if you want to get to the interior you got to pull off the windshield piece and you can see the interior just like the Lamborghini Countach that Doug took a look at it's completely red it's completely flat like 90 degree angles it's very sharp looking in my opinion I at one point wanted a red leather interior in my Mustang so I envy this car very much it's got a wheel you have your shifter there and then you can take your Lamborghini driver here and we'll take his wrench out of his hand and you can actually sit him in the driver's seat or the passenger seat so you could fit two minifigs in the set which is kind of cool but he sits all the way in there he has to be pushed all the way down and back to be able to fit because there's not a lot of space and tolerance here for the driver to fit in there but when he's in there he looks pretty nice and i'll definitely keep him in there i think that's a, a real good look although i suppose um that the helmet is a little bit of a ridiculous look because like i don't know I, like i watched doug's video and he wasn't wearing a helmet driving the thing around it's just normal guy going for a drive so maybe that's uh maybe that's the better look with the hair piece in there just looks like a rather wealthy fella driving around a nice car on the back you have the rear wing which is a pretty nice shape kind of triangular at the very front of it some more stickers and then the rear lights are fantastic looking they've used a very nice technique to kind of curve these down as you can see and it helps create the contour around the light that perfectly matches the lego cone piece in there it's just fantastic zooming in a bit will give you a better view of that the Lamborghini logo, the Countach logo, or text, not much of a logo. And then down below, we have the exhaust. For $20, I consider this set to be a must buy for speed champions or Lego car fans in general. It's such a fantastic build with a really sharp red interior. The figure, I really don't care about, but you know, I bought the set for the car and I think that's what most people do with speed champions type of sets anyway. I've got a couple more behind me and I'll definitely add this one to that collection. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. If you guys enjoyed the review, make sure you hit the like button. And if you plan on picking up this Lego Speed Champions Lamborghini Countach, please use the affiliate links in the description below to support the channel. Peace out.